Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you all about the motherboard power management ICs including the charge IC, the CPU IC, the 3 volt, 5 volt power management IC, the North Bridge and South Bridge power management ICs and the RAM ICs and so on. So let's get started so as you can see here basically this is the charge ic as you can see here and here we have the circuit pinout so the charge ic is the responsible to charge the battery and to give the necessary power for the whole motherboard so as a definition the charge ic is a small chip in the motherboard it produces the electrical signals or control signals to the related MOSFETs necessary to charge the battery. The voltage required to run this IC is taken directly from the charger or the battery. This voltage is called plus V adapter or plus V battery and its value is usually equal to 19 volts depending on the type of the motherboard so here as you can see this type or the model of this ic is bq 24 7 handle tree as you can see so to find the schematic for this ic you can just go to google and type the reference of this ic as you can see bq 24 7 handle tree and we can pick the first result here we go here as you can see we have the pda format for this ic as you can see we have pq24703 here we have the pd format and over here we have download we can just click over here and here we go we get the pd format as you can see you can just click this icon and then you will download this PDO format for free of course. Here as you can see this is the battery charger controller and system power selector. Okay? Selector means it selects between the adapter and the battery. So over here you will find the features, the characteristics and here basically this is the IC circuit diagram or pin configuration here as you can see basically these two types are changeable you can use as you can see bq24702 or bq24703 here basically this is your ic pin configuration as you can see it has as you can see 24 pins okay and you can find two shape two model in this ic basically here a rectangular one and a square one as you can see depending in the type of the motherboard and the type of IC used in the motherboard so as you can see in this data sheet you can find description you can find characteristics recommended operating condition and all about this IC so now let's see the next one here basically as you can see this is electrical characteristics for this IC as you can see in these tables you can check the temperature the voltage conditions etc now we gonna see the second ic is the system power 3 volt 5 volt so basically the model of this ic is tp is 51 120 here as you can see this is the rail ic in the motherboard and over here we have the circuit pinouts okay so as a definition the system power ic 3 volt 5 volt is a small chip in the motherboard it produces the electrical signals or control signals to the related mosfets necessary to operate the motherboard the voltage required to run this ic is taken directly from the charger or the battery this voltage is called plus v adapter or plus v battery and its value is usually equal to 19 volts depending on the type of the motherboard so basically this type of ic 
is responsible in the motherboard to generate to 3 volts always and plus 5 volts always. These 12 voltages are very important voltages and in the motherboard. And of course, these voltages is pre are present in the motherboard even if you didn't press the power button. Of course, you can check whether these voltages are present or not in the inductors. So, using the same working principle to download the data sheets of 3 volt, 5 volt power circuit, you can just type its model here. So, basically, we have TPS51120, and here we go. We can just pick the first result, always we have alldatasheet.com. This is basically a very good website where we you can find any schematic you want. So this is TPS51120 datasheet. And over here, we should pick the right PDA format. Here, basically, this is the PDA format. Here, we have the size of this PDA format and the number of pages. As you can see, we have 10 p means 10 pages. So here we have download. We can just click this blue link and here we go. We have the PT format as you can see. In this icon, you can just download it if you want. Here we have DL current mode, synchronous step down control with 100 milliamps as you can see. This is basically a regulator for a notebook system power. Here we have features, the features and applications of this IC as you can see. Here we have as you can see 3.3 volt and 5 volts boost strap you can see standby regulator. And here basically the input voltage is between 4.5 volt to 28 volts. Okay, but basically the frequently input voltage is 19 volts for this kind of ICs. So here we have two channels, a 3.3 volt channel and a 5 volt channel. Okay, so as I told you before, basically these two voltages, I mean 3 volt and 5 volt, are always present in the motherboard. Even if the laptop is not on, okay? If you just plug the power adapter, you can check these two voltages in the motherboards. And of course, the main application for this IC is notebook computers. And of course, here we have some characteristics if you want to check the recommended operating conditions, including the temperature, including voltages, etc. And of course, the electrical characteristics. So, the third IC is the CPU power IC or the central processing unit power IC. So as you can see here, basically this is the shape of the CPU IC. Basically this kind of IC are bigger than the charge IC and the 3 volt, 5 volt power management IC because it is for the CPU, it has many pins. So here we have its circuit pin out as you can see. So this IC of course it has IDs, so for every processor has 8 IDs. Based on these IDs, the IC can identify the value of the VCC core for the CPU, okay? So, as a definition, the CPU is a small chip in the motherboard. It produces the electrical signals or control signals to the related MOSFETs necessary to operate the processor. The voltage required to run this IC is taken directly from, from the charger or the battery. Frequently, this voltage is 19 volts, depending on the type of the laptop. So, the voltage is called plus V ADP or V adapter or plus V battery and its value is usually equal to 19 volts depending of course on the type of the motherboard. So this IC is responsible to generate the power, the working power for the CPU. We called it plus VCC core. It was always about 0.8 volt to 1.3 volts. 
So the next IC is the RAM power IC. As you can see here, we have the TPS51100. This IC basically is for RAM. So the RAM has always two kinds of power, one main power and another secondary power or VTT power, the power for RAM terminals. So as you can see here, we have the VTT. So basically this IC is responsible to generate the voltage for RAM terminals. So for example, if we have a DDR2 RAM, so its main power is 1.8 volt and the VTT should be the half of the main power means 0.9 volt. Okay, and so on. So as a definition, RAM power IC is a small chip in the motherboard. It produces the electrical signals to the related MOSFETs necessary to operate the RAM or random access memory. The voltage required to run this IC is taken directly from the adapter or the battery. This voltage is called plus V adapter or plus V battery. So, if the voltage is taken from adapter, we call it plus V adapter. If from the battery, we call it plus V battery. And its value is usually equal to 19 volts, depending on the type of the motherboard. So, to download the datasheet for this IC, you can just go to Google, as always, and type the model of the IC. So, let's type TPS. 51100 datasheet and type enter. So let's pick the first result as always and go directly to the appropriate PDA format. Here we have TPS 51100. So and then click download and here we go. We have the PDA format. Of course, you can download it if you want using this icon. Here we have, as you can see, the source DDR termination regulator. As you can see, this is a termination regulator power management. Okay, it's not the IC that generates the main voltage for the RAM. No, just it generates the VTT voltage or the voltage for terminals, as you can see here. So basically, the input voltage is from 4 volt to 5 volt and we have here the voltage range is from 1.2 volt to 3.6 volt, depending on the type of the RAM. Here we have, as you can see, the integrated divider tracks. Okay, we have VDTQ for VTT. So it divides the VDT to VTT. If we have 1.8 volt as a VDT, we will get 0.9 volt as a VDT. Okay. So as you can see here now, we have the 5 volt and the working voltage. Here we have the VDD. Okay, let's assume the VDD is 1.8 volt and here we will get the VDD. We will get 0.9 volt if we have a DDR2, of course. And of course, here we have other features like recommended operating conditions, the mean and max voltages, the temperature. Here we have the IC pin configuration electrical characteristics, and so on. So the next IC is the system power 1.8 volt and 1.5 volt power management IC. Basically, this IC generates these voltages to power the GMCH or the not bridge, the CPU or the central processing unit, and the ICH or the salt bridge. Basically, the ICH means Input output control hub and the GMCH means graphic memory control hub. Okay, so this IC will generate these two voltages. These two voltages are necessary for these three chips GMCH, CPU, and ICH. So, here in the right, as you can see, we have the TPS51124. This is basically the system power model or type and as a definition system power 1.8 volt 1.5 volt is a small chip in the motherboard it produces the electrical signals or control signals 
to the related MOSFETs necessary to operate the CPU. Chipsets, the or chipsets. The voltage required to run this IC is taken directly from the charger or the battery. This voltage is called V adapter or V battery and its value is usually equal to 19 volt depending on the type of the laptop. So as before you can download its datasheet through the Google. You can just type its model TPS 51124 data sheet and just press enter pick the first result so click the appropriate PD format here as you can see here we have 22 pages and then click download and here we go you have the PDF format that is ready to download if you want using this icon. Here, as you can see, we have DL Synchronous Steep Down Controller for low, low voltage power rails. Okay, so through this, of course, schematic, you can get the features. You can check the features. As you can see here, we have wide input voltage and output voltages is between 0 0.76 to 5.5 volts and of course you will find the recommended condition applications electrical characteristics etc and of course the pin configuration for this ic as you can see we have two channels one channel to generate 1.8 volt and another the second channel to generate 1.5 volt or 1.05 volt the plus vccp